Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing great. If you are new here, hi my name is Dana. I am a homeschooling mama to a first grader, a kindergartner, who I cannot believe is now a kindergartner, and then a very active 18 month old. Who if you do not necessarily see in every video, you will definitely hear her in most of my videos. As you can tell from the title down below, I wanted to show you just a quick flip through, not necessarily a complete flip through, but kind of just going through every single unit of the Christian Light Education, or more commonly known as the CLE Math Curriculum. I have really been enjoying it and so has my son. If you're new here, we actually made a switch about a month ago to a new curriculum, a math curriculum. We switched from the Master Books first grade math curriculum. Um, it was just too simple and I felt like it wasn't a really solid, good math concept type thing for my first grader and he was getting really, really bored of it. So we ended up switching to the first grade and CLE and found that it was more on his level and more of what he was into. He wasn't into like the light and fluffy stuff that the master books has, even though the master books program is very, very gentle. It just wasn't it just wasn't working for our family. <laughs> and so with every family being different, I also wanted to acknowledge that and just throw the disclaimer out there that just because it's, it did not work for us does not mean it won't work for everybody. So just throwing that out there, um, but we'll go ahead and get into it. There are 10 units all together. So I wanted to kind of open each one and kind of show you just like the beginning part, the middle and the end so you get an idea of what your first grader would be learning if you decided to choose this curriculum. Like I said, I am really, really happy with it so far and so is my little guy which also speaks great great volumes but yeah let's go ahead and get started so my son actually really likes using an abacus when it comes to all of his math stuff um, especially when it comes to his basic addition and everything so he'll count out the little beads and he'll go like three plus three um, and things like that so he always keeps this on his little school shelf um, that we keep in our dining room so that is definitely a main part of his curriculum so far that he loves using and he also really loves using poppets as well for counting out the sums and everything so all right, so in the first unit for the first grade book, there are 10 units, like I said, all together. It starts out very, very basic. Um, you're gonna have your fact chart, which is gonna have all of your addition facts for everything that you'll need to know for this first unit. So you can either go over this separately on another piece of paper and just go over those, um, but basic handwriting for your numbers, and then you go immediately straight into addition facts, which I really, really like. Um, and then again, basic counting addition facts. You have some basic reading, which is at first grade level, and then some pictures and stuff, which also makes it interactive. But yeah, you're just gonna go through all of the numbers and do basic addition facts. You're gonna do some fun hands-on activities and everything like that. Um, again, some more basic reading, and more math facts. We are actually ready to finish up lesson nine before moving on to lesson 10. We actually do not do a complete lesson. I guess it honestly depends on the day, but we typically do not do a complete full lesson every day. Um, Cause there's one pages, two, three, um, and sometimes there's four pages per lesson. Um, but we typically only do probably two pages. And sometimes after doing all the addition stuff and everything like that, he's ready for a break. Sometimes we'll get up, we'll move around, we'll jump around <laughs> and everything like that um, before moving on to this, if math is the second or third thing we do of the day. If we start with math for the day, then we can for sure complete the whole lesson because it's his first thing of the day. But if we do that, then reading might take a while as far as like wanting to sit still <laughs> and everything like that. Um, and I don't want to make them sit still for that long. So they normally have like a five, 10 minute break. So oftentimes, um, even though we're on week number two, we are only on lesson 10. So anyway, so you go through and you write all of the numbers. You have your little light unit test. So it's going to test him on what he's learned so far and everything like that. Um, and they introduce the place value concept and everything like that. Um, and yeah, you just go through, you finish writing all the numbers, you're learning more basic addition. And I also like it because it also introduces like story problems and things like that. But it's very, very well done. I feel like he will have mastered more skills in this little tiny light unit, just the first unit, than he did in the first 65 lessons of his um, other math curriculum. So I love it and I feel like there's a lot of mastery involved with this and he will be very, very fluent. <laughs> In addition, 
um, by the time he is done with this. And again, it's such a thin book, but it's so, so well done. And it's just simple, straight to the point. It cuts out all the fluffy stuff and I really, really, really like it so far. Here is the second unit. And for the second unit, it is going to be focusing. Okay. You have your addition facts, of course, and then you also have your subtraction facts. Um, we uh, would be on lesson 21 when we start this, and then it starts out with, of course, story problems, and then you're going to have your greater than, less than introduction. Um, so we'll go through that, and you'll start being introduced to the number line. And again, just great, great concepts to learn, especially at a first grade level. Um, and I really, really like it. I really, really like it. I feel like this would be such a sound core to what he needs to know in math. Um, whereas in the other one just is not providing that really solid, solid math education, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so you're going to go more into your place value. Again, still working on the subtraction and addition skills and everything like that. So by the middle of the book, we're going to again do some bigger numbers of greater than, less than. Um, write the numbers that are before and after. He actually really likes doing that. Um, you have the little test here, of course, and every number that I tell him, he'll have to write down and kind of dictate that back. So that's the middle of the book. And then by the time you get to the end, of course, you're going to be introduced to some larger numbers, of course. And then here's all of the different speed drills for each lesson. So I really, really like this. You set the little timer. You write the amount of minutes that it takes him to write that, but not just like the amount that he got in a minute but the amount he got correct in the month. I actually really enjoy doing speed drills growing up, so I think that would be a fun thing for him to do. And then in the back of the book, you're gonna have all of your quizzes and of course your place value chart. Um, but that will be the core of the second unit. So for the third unit, I'll open it up here. You'll have more addition facts and more subtraction facts to learn. Some more complex, even higher numbers. Um, to start out with, again, really working on that mastery. Then for your light unit test for 103, you're obviously working with a lot bigger, you're introduced to a dozens and things like that, a lot bigger numbers. And again, this is only the third unit in. So really, really working on those higher numbers and the mastery skills. Um, introducing like charts and everything like that. And again, you'll have all of your speed drills for both addition, subtraction, things like that, all in the back, ready to go. For module four, again, we've just added a bunch more subtraction facts. And you're going to start out with ordering, putting the numbers in order, which we actually got introduced to that in the third unit. But um, putting the larger numbers in order, you're gonna be telling time. Again, working on those facts, working on place value, working on greater than, less than, working on money, um, counting by tens, plus some basic additions. So really starting to um, introduce you to like the multiplication concept. And then we're of course telling time. We're gonna introduce to how many dozens are and everything. And then for your fourth test, you're gonna have greater than, less than. The clock, putting the larger numbers in order. It's also gonna introduce fractions in this book. So you're gonna have the half and the half shade and things like that. So you're gonna also be having, touching on like a thing of, um, yeah touching on some light fractions and things like that. And of course your money and then your subtraction and addition, which can never really be <laughs> reviewed too much. And I feel like even though like there's subtraction and addition on every single page almost, it's not as monotonous as um, the master books curriculum was, which was just writing out one through 20 over and over and over again, or one through 10, um, because every number is different. So even though yes, it's the same like type of thing, it's still different, <laughs> if that makes sense. So. He really, really enjoys actually doing that a lot. And like I said, he'll use his um, abacus to do that with. Anyway, so you go to the end of the book. You, of course, have all of your speed drills. And then one of your last lessons where you go into your speed drill section is kind of like count, you're going to count the money and see what you can buy. Look at the price tags and see what you can buy with the money. So kind of introducing that concept. But yeah, that is for unit four. For unit five, again, we have just added some more addition facts for year fours, and then we also added a lot of subtraction facts. Same type of thing, it goes into your money, your basic, um, circle half of the group, so you're really starting to get a lot into fraction. Some more uh, some more like visual story problems and things like that. For light unit tests for number five, you will have done some um, 
like oral listening skills. So you're gonna go into your place value some more. You're gonna do play out um, some more story problems and things like that. So um, another really, really just good mastery. And then circle a group of a dozen chickens and things like that. And then of course all your speed drills in the back. For module six or unit six, again, you are adding even more addition facts and subtraction facts. You're really getting a good solid knowledge. <laughs> Sorry, it's noisy. For the dozens, um, and you're learning about congruence and different things like that. Um, and you're starting to do like the double digits, your ones and tens places now, and everything like that. So at this point, it's definitely getting more advanced. You're really knowing how to tell time um, and everything like that. And for the light unit test, right here. They will have mastered, of course, fractions. They would be doing like the ones and tens place for subtraction and addition. Some story problems, some money. <laughs> Hi, baby, and things like that. But yeah, you gonna hold that for mommy? Mm -hmm. For the seventh unit, um, again, now you will have learned at this point a lot of addition and subtraction facts. And you're now introducing 10 different, or I'm sorry, three different columns on your ones and tens place. Thermometer, indoor, outdoor temperature, and things like that. Um, and yeah, it's just becoming great, great, great skills. And then your overall unit light test, by now you will have covered um, yeah. counting by tens, all of your time and everything, some really, really large numbers. I started to get greater than, less than. Um, you're gonna, by this time, be really fluent Ma. and really know what congruent shapes mean and like all the different right angles and everything like that. And then of course, all of your higher numbers and you're still purchasing things like what can you buy with that? Oh, are you all done? Okay. And that is number seven. So I am so sorry. I have no idea where module eight is. It's probably hiding on my shelf somewhere. But here is module nine. Again, your subtraction and addition facts. Um, you're gonna be writing out money by at this point. Um, learn how many minutes are an hour, inches and a foot, and things like that. And you're also halfway through this point. <laughs> I'll be learning more fractions. One second, honey and everything like that. So definitely more advanced concepts in this one. Um, converting a bunch of cents to dollars and things like that. This is unit number 10. This is all the facts that they will have known by the time they complete the actual first grade math curriculum. And you really go into a lot more detail, especially when it comes to your fractions, your money, your bigger numbers when it comes to addition and subtraction. You're talking big numbers when it comes to addition and everything like that. Some great, great mastery skills. But yeah, I hope you guys got a good glimpse. Sorry, it was kind of crazy a little bit um, of what the first grade CLE curriculum looks like. I know we are really excited about it and we are really liking it so far.